to our channel. So I already applied foundation and concealer on my face. I figured because I do foundation, my foundation routine every single video, I don't want to bore you guys again. So, but if you guys would like to see that, I will link down my previous video down in the description box, and you can check that out. So to start this look, I'm just going to apply some tape on the corner of my eye. I kind of already have it on the back of my hand. You just want to do that to get the stickiness off of the tape so you're not going to be pulling your eyes that much. Once I have that on, we're just going to start working on the eyes. And I'm going to go in with my Morphe 35O palette. I know I use this in like every video, and it's because I love neutrals and I love colors like this, so I'm going to use it. So I'm going to pick up these two colors right here. And I'm going to use this basically as my transition shade. And I'm just going to apply this in my crease and upper crease. I'm going to pick up this color right here just to deepen up the crease. I want to make the crease a little bit more darker, so I'm going to pick up a little bit of this shadow right here and to place that directly into the crease. And you can keep building this color up to the intensity that you like. I remember when you have tape on, you kind of want to bring the shadow on top of the tape just to make sure when you take it off, it's going to be a clean, crisp line. I want to get that outer V and crease really dark. So I'm going to go in and pick up this bottom like really dark brown shadow. Tap off the excess and place most of it in the outer V and then sweep it into the crease. in with my Reveal palette. This is the darkest black shadow that I have. I mean, it's like, you really need to be careful when you're using this. So I'm just going to take a smaller blending brush, apply a little bit of black shadow, tap off the excess, and I'm just going to place this on the outer V. I'm just going to take my time and build this up and blending it out. We just blend everything out. We're gonna pick up this shadow right here with that first brush that we used and just go over those lines and blend everything in to each other. lip color I'm going to pick up this shadow right here it's like a grayish almost gold shimmery shadow I'm going to really pack on my brush this is a bare minerals concealer brush it's amazing to pack on your lip color and I'm going to spray my brush with a little bit of fix plus just to make the shadow more metallic -y. I just pack that all over my lid. I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. cream liner in black. You guys know I absolutely love this stuff. I've gone through, I would say like three bottles and I'm just going to apply my wind liner like normal.
I'm just going to quickly apply some lashes off camera and be right back. To my Wet n Wild contouring palette, pick up the contour shade and just chisel out my cheekbones because I feel like my face is just really like plain and it doesn't have any color on it. For blush, I'm gonna go in with this one from Milani. This is in Romantic Rose. For highlight, I'm gonna first go in with my high beam, and I'm just going to apply this on the very tops of my cheeks, and I'm just going to blend this out with my finger. I'm going to set that highlighter with a powder and I'm going to pick up these two bottom highlight shades and just place that right on top. And I'm going to pick up this bottom shade right here and just run that right on my lower lash line. And pick up this dark brown and really focus this shadow really on the lash line and closer to that black. Moving on to lips, I'm going to first line them with my Wet n Wild lip liner in the color maroon. And then right on top of that, I'm going to go in with my Gerard Cosmetics in the color 1995. 